We are back to talk Survivor 43. I'm here with Aspen and Fangai. Aspen eating some sort of soup out of her Survivor Bowl. What is it? My broccoli and cheddar. Uh, very nice. Very nice. How are you all feeling about the, the almost merge? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling real good. I got to say, y'all talked all that shit about my boy. And look at him now. Look at Koe go. He survived. Like, he he's did, so honestly he the best hope i got right now i ain't gonna lie boy <laughs> there was no hourglass fan guy yes no hourglass um you know it was look we've been talking about it for the last however many weeks that it was just like something needed to get shaken up because it was just too bleh and yeah. so it was good it was good to, to get the the you know dynamics mixing up and stuff it was the best episode of the season so far. It's not saying much because I was bored by most of the episodes, but it was, it was definitely good to see the new dynamics being stirred up. And the best part, the person I don't like went home, so that helped even more. Allie going. Ain't that Mike's girl? Yes, Mike is down to two people, James and Dwight. Some some good people left, though, but he has the least of us again, just like last season. Uh -huh. He's pulling he an Aspen. He's not here when one of his uh, players went home. And I know because I'm fit an outfit or burn his ass. I know he gonna I know he gonna see it. So I'm gonna talk shit. Yeah, Mike. That's <laughs> what the fuck you get. You was talking all that shit last week about how you he got was. the best team and all this shit. Now look at you. <laughs> Touche. Any other thoughts on Allie being the one to go in this past episode? She should have went. She deserved it. Bye, bitch. I mean, I'm not. I'm not upset about it. I thought she was going to go way further. I think it says something too. about their editing because she's gotten a really strong edit for pre-jury because she didn't even make the jury, right? Nope. Yes, she got a hell of strong edit for pre-jury. Maybe the strongest one I can remember, like in a, a, in recent memory. Yeah. Agree. Agree. I wonder they, if they're they, trying. Go ahead. No, I'm just gonna say they edited this bitch like she was gonna win. I wonder if they are like trying to give or try to give her a strong edit because so many women have been going home before the damn jury. We're down to four women left. I uh, maybe you they know, just don't know how to edit women, winners or losers, or any of it. Like, but like for someone who's not even a major player, like she's gotten a significant edit for someone yeah. who's like pre-jury. Like, I'm really blown away. I'm actually blown away that they wasted that much time on her. Yeah, I mean, she, yeah. Well, I think it's funny because if I was her, I would have made, what you call, give me that item. I would have been like, look, you bitch, you got to get to me and let me choose. I don't want to, uh-uh. You can't make the decision, bitch. I know if I'm going home. She knew she was going home. She felt it. She knew she was. Yeah, it wasn't her idol, though. No, but I would have convinced that bitch to give it to me. Like, bitch, I, I helped you find it. I was right there or whatever happened. I don't even remember at this point, but. Um, I mean, I guess we could start the ranking because I mean, Aspen ain't gonna like our bottom two, but it's not my fault. Blame Fan Guy because it's, it's only Fan Guy. Yeah, you didn't get your rankings in. Mike didn't get our rankings in, so it's just me and Fan Guy. But Gabler, <laughs> I know and, uh, one of them. Then <laughs> Gabler and Cody are the bottom two. Uh, okay, Gabler, I can understand, but Cody again, y'all. I I just want to say I ranked I, both of them. I actually think I ranked Cody ahead of two people this week. I, okay. I mean, you did. Yeah, you ranked Cody. I ranked Gabler. I do think I ranked Cody ahead of two people, but I still don't think he's in a great spot. It's never good when your name's getting thrown out, like even as a foe. Like, it's just never a good thing to have your name thrown out, like in any capacity. Okay, but but let me interject here. Defend your man, defend your white boy, Aspen. I am, and, and we all. Let me calm down for the internet. Blast my, my ass for that. <laughs> but no, look. Okay, fan guy. So to challenge your point, he didn't get no votes for him, though. Even though his name was thrown out, quote, unquote. Yeah, and I didn't watch where all the votes went because it was kind of a weird start whenever it was votes going for everybody. Yeah. Um, no, I mean, I'm, like I said, I don't, I don't think he's in, like, as much danger as he was in if the Red Tribe had stayed together as the Red Tribe. Um, I think he, you know, he's definitely in a better spot than that for sure. 
He doing good. See, that's what I like to hear. Okay, that's, I'll take good it. as a bit of an overstatement. Yeah. He's no, doing, doing decent. <laughs> no, he's surviving. He has he has an idol, but like, and it's not really his fault. It's the design of the game in these these last few seasons where everybody knows where all the powers are, basically. So like right when the merge is starting or the fake merge is starting, they figure out that Cody has the power because of the beads. I don't know. I feel like it's a waste of time to have these powers that everybody knows about, honestly. But he's you know. gonna get that thing jacked. Whoever's got that jack of power, he's about to get jacked. Yeah, they're gonna take that. They're gonna take my boy cookies. I don't know. He might be able to play them like they did last time and give it off and black. Who did that? Somebody did that last season, I feel like. Yeah, they keep doing that with that power. Which I that's what I would do too. That's the smartest thing. That's what everybody gonna do. They're gonna have to switch it up next season. I'm the only one that ranked Gabler, but I mean, like, he got his target out. I mean, it might have screwed him probably go for his long game, but he got his target out. He's just an idiot. He's just an idiot. Gabler's just an idiot. Like, he's there at the merge feast. They're all just chilling, drinking some beers, having a good old time. And he's just that old curmudgeon sitting in the corner talking shit about homegirl. Like, and yeah, he got her out, you know, but... At what cost? At, yeah, at, at yeah. being that curmudgeon guy that no one likes and no one's going to want to work with. So I think he's going to follow her <laughs> shortly. <laughs> like, yeah, I think so, too. I think he got out. The, the, it was definitely way too early to get. I mean, I don't like her. I've said it enough times. But, like, it was way too early for Gabler to want to get her out. No, I would have I would have at least waited one time and voted so they would have at least been strong through the first one. But I definitely would have did it on the next one. But, no, he fucked himself because he next. And everybody going to be like, hey, blur a flip-flop. Now that's going to come. And, I mean, poor Janine, she might be able to, like, turn it around on his ass. But I don't know. He is so – like Fan Guy said, what he call him? A, I don't know. That motherfucker over in a, a Grimwood. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever the fuck that mean, this motherfucker sitting over in the corner like an old grumpy ass hag. Like, well, she, I'm like, bro, in front of all these people that you don't know, really? Like, no, no social awareness. Like, bitch, read the room. Read the room. Also, it was technically Janine that went through his bag, I mean, so he was putting it all on But, but it's because Sammy, Sammy told him that El, Ellie did. And they're going to try to be like, what, what, what? I didn't tell him. I'm like, yes, yeah, she did. Yes, Do you did. think he screwed his game for his whole tribe by doing this so early? Who, Sammy? Yeah. Well, yeah, well, Sammy and Gabler, I suppose. Yes, both of them. Yeah, well, more so Gabler, I think. Sammy, Sammy, I still think, could pull it together. No, he could but, just lie but, and say he didn't say it. You know, it definitely makes your tribe look like the, you know, the bunch of jabronis of the bunch, you know? Like, you, you got the jabroni tribe that turned on each other for right away. <laughs> Like yeah, didn't even didn't merge. even get past the merge feast. We're already throwing your tribe under the bus. Like no, nah, bro. <laughs> pathetic. Yeah. But fucking pathetic. All right. At number ten <laughs> is Ryan. Right where he should be, respectfully. Yeah, I have him about around here. I think Van I didn't rank him. I barely ranked him. I probably would have ranked his ass ten had I ranked him. It I think just I was, ranked him dead last. <laughs> it was, Why, it was sad. Think? It was sad to see him be like, "All right, y'all, we all should work together." At we we're, we're seven. We're the final seven, right? Top seven. Like, <laughs> boy, shut the hell up. Yeah, wasn't the best. This motherfucker here. I mean, this guy. As if Gabler, okay, as, you know, a perfect little transition right into this was we got Gabler throwing his tribe under the bus. Then Ryan comes in here acting like nobody's even been on a tribe. Screw tribes, everyone. We got seven of us right here. Who's with me? And he yeah. is just, it was the, it was, it was for me, it was the sincerity. The key was so dead set on, we could do it. This seven. Like, bro. Like, bro. What's that the seven votes, though? I don't remember all the votes. I wish, I wish Mike was here to uh, to, get, to give us all the votes. I know, but... to have the facts. Mike I'm pretty sure Janine wouldn't have voted out Ellie or didn't vote out Ellie. No. 
But yeah, I think that was definitely desperation from him trying to uh, get back on top after being at the bottom after the last boat. Oh, that moment was the sole reason I thanked him, but it was hilarious. For me, it was the funniest moment of the episode. Got this guy just, all right, guys, final seven. Here we are. Like, what? What are and you then, talking about, bro? And then he thought he was he thought he was putting them up on game too. He gonna say, now all we gotta do is find somebody else that's with us. And, bit, 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 bit. and I'm like, bro, are you can you not see the look on everybody's faces of how awkward you making things right now? Yeah, I think a social game is a struggle. But I do think the one saving grace for him is within the boat. It does feel like there could be some sort of strong guys thing going on, especially with all the women falling like flies. But I don't know how far that's going to actually get him. Number nine, I, she should not be ranked, and she's on my team. But number nine is Janine. God, no. God, no. Really, y'all? Well, y'all, you mean fat guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I don't know if this made the edit of this show or, I mean, we're live or whatever, but um, so right before we went on the air, I was telling Nick, I had to watch a lot of this episode through static and stuff. Uh, it was just a really bad viewing experience for me. So I don't know why. I, I mean, I feel like Janine got rid of some dead weight with Ellie. Like, even though she lost, like, her closest person it was it was somebody that might have made her a target yeah and i mean i guess so now i think janine can slip right back into the shadows she's got a power i don't think the attention's going to be on her right away so i think she's all right i think she's in an okay spot like i don't that's, think she's in it to win it but you know that's kind of where i disagree though. i don't know if she's really can slip back into the shadows she hasn't shown me anything that gives that uh, she's gonna slip into the shadows she gives off a, as a player that plays she wants to play hard but she's not doing a good job when she does it so far i think and she she lost uh you know a strategist in alley even though alley i think took it too far at times so you think the first thing we're going to see on the next episode is them going back to camp and her flipping out on people i don't know if it'll be quite that bad but the look on her face after tribal council maybe she's gonna be pissed she's she gonna flip her... on the guys on her tribe yeah she gonna flip on Gabler. That's what she gonna flip on. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, she does have a power, so maybe she could use it to be safe for at least another week if she uses it correctly. But I don't know if I like her long term shots. I mean, I don't feel like she really got a much of a shot long term, but I definitely feel like she she in a better spot now that she don't got Ellie because she don't have to have that weird. You know, they a duo. We need to split them up. I already got split, so that's out the window. Maybe, but I still feel like it's still early enough where you kind of need some numbers on your side. Mm -hmm. I don't know if she has them. I mean, I well, no, you're right. I was gonna say maybe Owen will still try to work with her, but I don't think. I think he really wanted to work with Ellie more so than Janine. Yeah, Owen's game puzzles me. His edit just puzzles me, honestly. But what is Owen doing? I'm sure we'll get to him. Yeah, we will. Kind of soon. But up next is Noel at number eight. Hmm. Fuck around and find out. Let her get to the end. Watch what's going to happen. They're not. Right. Trust me. They're not. You've seen the previews. <sighs> yeah, the preview, what did it show? Her kind of being like trying to run things and someone calling it out. Yeah, and and I think it was Jesse and uh Carla, maybe, being like, if we let her get to the end, they're probably gonna start talking shit about her sob story. And it's gonna get awkward. I'm sure survivor gonna have to cut a lot of it out so people don't get canceled. <laughs> <laughs> probably. But the, with the with the preview as fan I always say, it's probably gonna be the opposite. Maybe she will actually have some control for a while. <clears throat> Maybe, but she definitely is coming to a demise. She just too, she just got too much of a good shot, bro. Like I'm sorry, like, and it ain't even no shade to her because she playing an okay game. She playing yeah. a game that I would actually. She remind me of me in my first season, like just chilling, sitting back, you know. Like sometimes she get at challenges, but yeah, she just do enough to not look bad. So, I mean, she could slide by for a few more, but. 
it's going to come out eventually that she is the pick of the season to win if she get there. You would think so. How do you like her chances, Fan Guy? She, she's I mean, if she gets to the end, we, we've said that many times. I don't think many people can beat her. She's got one leg. She just she just out survived all y'all on one leg. Savage. Like yeah, like it's it's a slam dunk win at the end. So um, I don't know. I don't think she's in that bad a spot. You know, it's real tough to rank people. I think after this episode because uh, I think we'll have more information after the next episode. Like this yeah. one was just so. Gabler turning on Ellie. It was a and massive. Of them, it was, yeah. you know, that was the one target that was brought up. So obviously, do you all know where she voted? I wish Mike was here. I actually think Noel voted wrong. I'm almost positive she didn't vote with everybody else because I just watched this episode like 30 minutes ago. But I'm almost positive that she was one of the people that threw out like the random vote and kind of had no idea what was going on, which I thought it was so weird when they, in the previews, is like, she's going to be running stuff, because I'm like, well, she just did not vote with the masses, so huh, okay. is she? Well, if that's the case, then yeah, maybe she's the next Geo, thinking she's running things and really isn't. Any other thoughts on her? Well, that leaves Jesse in number seven without Mike here to hate on him and rank him, or not rank him. He moves up a bit in our rankings to number seven. I don't know if he deserved to move up. But I mean, he kinda. just he he kind of just is in I don't know. I didn't really get much from him this this time. So like it's hard to say. I don't know. For I just me, feel like he's a, not a target. He's not. He's not. There's a clump of people like that. Like everyone I ranked from like nine to like four or three i felt were all kind of in that same tier of like well they just don't feel like they're in danger i can't really yeah. tell you know how where the hierarchy is supposed to go yet but i know that there's just a gang of people who are, aren't in danger and jesse's one of them he's just not in any danger right now yeah that's what i had going for him too <laughs> Do you think he's going to do what he's done in the past and overplay? or Because to me, it feels like, you know, that's the reason Mike hates him. But to me, it feels like he is kind of pulling back from what, well, at least from the edit that we've seen. <clears throat> I hope that he just becoming more socially aware of the things and realizing that he be doing too much. So, I mean, I don't even know if he was doing too much. He just was. I think we just don't like him because he a fake gangster. I'm a, I'm a just real. <laughs> that might be the case on this podcast, actually. <laughs> I was about to make a joke about how he was carving a shiv off to the side out of coconut husk. Like, you know. Like, I don't know. You know. He loves to tell people he was in juvie, for sure. And I don't know why, but... That's like the least hardcore thing you could tell someone. I Bro, to everybody juvie. was a juvie. Literally every kid. Everybody. <laughs> The fuck? Well, then we move on to Owen at number six. The one I think Ooh. who puzzles me. I ranked him about this high, but like, I don't know why. Exactly. And that's that's his that's his superpower, though. You feel me? Because he got the ability to make you rank him that high. And you don't even know why. Are you calling that a superpower because it's on your team? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I know, but also still, though, like, I mean, I feel like he wouldn't own. You know what? I don't even know who Owen voted for now that I think about it. I want to say that he voted for. I feel uh, like he was correct. There were some big people on that tribe that voted out uh, Ellie. Ellie. I know. It had to be. It had to be. And I'm trying to remember who it was. But um, I feel like Owen in a good spot. He, I feel like he is like just playing the middle, and he like kind of got his ears in everything. He doing good. I mean, I will say, I honestly feel if that tribe falls apart, I don't feel like Owen is anybody's first target from that tribe. You know, you got Gabler, you got Janine. I even think Sammy could probably make himself a bigger target before Owen would. So maybe that is a superpower. Maybe he's <laughs> good at like falling through the cracks. Yeah. Yeah, I like Owen a lot actually. Um, 
But he's, it was funny. The first thing you said was, I don't really know why I ranked, because I ranked him about here too. He just fits in that middle pack. Like I said, there's just yeah. a whole gang of people that I don't, I just don't know how much to say about them, but I know they're not in any danger. They haven't like fucked up, you know, like they haven't done anything really stupid. And Owen fits right in there. But I, I think I'd like Owen. I think I'd get along with Owen. Yeah, I agree. Well, number five is somebody I think should be higher, but, you know, Fan Guy keeps grading her a 10 because she's a 10, according to Fan Guy. So that is Cassidy coming in at number five. And I put Cassidy this, I put her at number two, honestly, because wow. all of the, the votes going on. It felt like it was a bunch of guys getting the vote right, and Cassidy is somehow fitting in with all the guys. Maybe because she's a 10 fan guy, I don't know. But somehow, some way, Cassidy is escaping the targets on her back and being in good with the guys and getting right the right vote. She's on the right side of the vote. Was she on the right side of the votes? Yeah, yeah I did. I had, I did not watch long enough to see who voted how. Um, that does bode well for her. Uh, good job, Cassidy. Aspen, you're making faces. Uh, bro, I'm still struggling to even figure out who Cassie is. <laughs> uh, I mean, she's had more of an edit these last few episodes, I felt like. I guess, but she's just being so basic and white. I just don't understand what in the fuck made you rank her at number two. Well, she's on your team. That's probably why you picked her in the first place. I remember you saying, I want some, some basic white chick on my team, and you pick Cassidy, and look at her. Look and at her look. fitting in with the guys. Nice. Just how I like it. Just how I like it. You know what? Let me let me take my let me take my statement back. Now that I remember, she on my team. All right. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm like, why are you coming first of her? You're usually <laughs> such a homer. Yeah. No, I am. No, you're right. All right. Good job, Cassidy. We doing good. Um. Uh, no, Cassidy actually. Fake. Fake. <laughs> <laughs> no, but what were you gonna say in all your fakeness? She being so forgettable that she might make it to the end, bro. She might. <laughs> But honestly, in the game, I feel like some people are targeting her, and yet she always escapes it. She's able to have connections. Nice. Like, that's like every basic white girl, you know? Like, yeah. you're doing good. I could see her being this season's like Heather, but like much younger, hotter Heather. Who just gets <laughs> so do you think she's it. getting far, but not enough, good enough to win? I think she could. I don't know. Um, keep her around for as long as we can. Keep her around for as long as we can. I'm totally happy with, with Cassidy. Think Agreed. She's, think she's doing great. She can call me anytime. 281-330-8004. Hit my Jones up on the low. On the low. <laughs> uh, I don't know what to do with you all sometimes. but <laughs> Bro, bro, let's just let, time out. Fan guy just made a Mike Jones reference, y'all. <laughs> That guy's good at these. I love references. Mike Jones. Mike Jones is my favorite rapper, for the record. <laughs> now that's out there. My, you know, I know I catch a lot of shit for that because everybody's like, oh, Mike Jones. But, like, his track, Scandalous Hoes, featuring Lil Brian, that shit changed my life. <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> it's it, it's just, you know, you got to you gotta know. I know every word to it. I love that song. <laughs> See, I don't know it at all. So I yeah. literally, and but. honestly, this is embarrassing for me also, but I literally don't know that song. I only know them two songs that Mike Jones had where he say his phone number and then where he'd be like, who? Mike Jones. That might be the same song. Yeah, Mike, Mike Jones is like my spirit animal because, you know, back then they didn't want him. Now he's hot. They all up on him. And, you know, now that his pockets stick out more than his belly, they up on him. And that's like me. Yeah. Now that my pockets stick out more than my belly, now they now they want to holler. So Mike Jones knows what's up. I can't argue with that. But Cassidy, call me. <laughs> All right, let's move on to number four, which is uh, the white a little bit. Who? Dwight? Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, I don't know what to make from him after this uh, episode, but he was another person on the right side of the boat. So I feel like he has the uh, 
the chops. He, he's shown some chops in this game so far with his maneuvering and getting the numbers on his side. Yeah, I mean, we say that like four is terribly low. Like four is pretty freaking high. Like it's a high ranking. I ranked him high, obviously. You ranked him pretty high. So, I mean, uh, it's a respectable spot for Dwight, who's really young. Um, there's another young player, obviously, who's really high as well. Um, so, yeah, I think Dwight's playing great. I, I, I think he's 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 just he's not making any missteps, and he's definitely – uh, if there is a power guys group with Cassidy, it's like the guys and Cassidy, then, you know, he's in a great spot. That's how I, I feel, too. I feel like Dwight can get himself in great spots. We've seen it from him already, so I still ranked him fairly high. He don't add. Just I? Just I. That leaves Sammy... At number three, he keeps, just keeps on climbing in our rankings. Boo Boo is looking like she might have a winner yet again. I need to go see this. Let me go pull up this shit and see who voted how, because I need to know who voted. Yeah, oh. tell us, please tell us. I'm I'm, not, I'm go. I'm gonna go do some research. I'll be back. <laughs> he is the surprise of the season. While Aspen looks like he is the surprise of the season for me. Um, all his preseason stuff made him come off like a very much like a young meathead kind of kid, but he's 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 way coming off a lot smarter than that, a lot more savvy, game aware. He seems to have good social skills with people. Um, he deserves this spot. I mean, I know he's young, but he absolutely deserves this ranking. I, I this is the person I was the most wrong about preseason to now for sure. Same, I agree with that. I thought he was gonna be childish and not know how to keep his little young ass mind together, but I mean, he doing it, he doing it. So I gotta, I gotta give respect where respect is due. He, yeah, I keep kicking myself for not drafting him, but go on. Yeah, no, he, he honestly got the best potential of being the youngest winner. And I mean, I don't think he gonna win, but he got the potential. There was just something about his preseason interviews that, Made me want to draft him, but because he was so young, I didn't want to do it. And then when you all, I, I thought one of you were going to draft him if I didn't draft him, and then you guys didn't. So I was like, oh, here we go again. Boo Boo has a, a shot at winning yet again. He had given that one preseason answer where they asked him like what his biggest strength was, and he was like, my quads or something like that. <laughs> yeah, I remember you hated that. And like now I get it. Like seeing his personality, like how he is, like I get that. Like that was actually a funny joke. Like, but it didn't, you know, if you don't know them, it doesn't come off that way. True. So yeah, you know, Sammy's doing great, man. I'm kind of pulling for him. I don't know if I'm pulling for him, but right. I don't I don't dislike him. Right. Agreed. But I do feel like he might be, like I said last week, uh one of the uh the, the smarter players in the game so far. I feel like he sees things very well you know fan guy we talk about fan guy and the little brother seeing the board very well i feel like sammy kind of does yeah and he, he yeah he does and he he has really good control over like uh he, he's quick to recognize the things he's doing that are right and wrong like he'll make a mistake like you know not telling gable or something telling gable or something he immediately goes to gable to try to fix things and and i think his approach is is measured and i think it's good um i i do think he is one of the more uh savvy players for sure which is crazy given that he's the youngest yeah it is did you find out that research yet aspen no you know i'm using video brother and 25 ads gotta come up and i gotta get two viruses and then I'll, I'll tell y'all something. <laughs> All right. Well, after your two viruses, let us know. In the meantime, we will move on to number two, who dropped because of me. I dropped her a little bit. That being Carla at number two. I did this last night. I maybe shouldn't have dropped her so much, but I, I guess my thinking was um, it didn't make the edit, but they're clearly talking about the beads. So I think feel like her having an idol had to have come out because everybody talks in these games and they found out about uh, the beads being what led to Cody's idol very quickly. 
But maybe that's maybe the edit is trying to save her from the negativity because maybe she it really is the winner. I don't know. So my thoughts on Carla is that if they edited Ellie the way they did and she's already out pre-jury, they're not going to give two strong edits to two females and both of them be early boots. I definitely could never see them doing that in a billion years. So I have never been more sure than ever that Carla is going to find herself at the end of this game. Yeah, I can see that. The one reason, the other reason I dropped her is because Carla threw a random vote in her voting to Owen. She was not on the right side of the vote. She randomly voted for Owen. I don't know if that was strategy. We didn't really find out why in the edit, but that was I don't I don't I don't know what to make of that. Yeah, I don't either. Um, that's that's weird. But I do think she she doing okay. She's riding she riding high. She doing her thing. So, um, oh oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. All right, here okay. we go. Here we go. So, Ellie. Oh um, oh what what? Hold up. <laughs> Who are you shocked by? This live reaction video brought to you by... <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> so, uh, one leg voted for Cassidy. Um, uh, so only she... voted for James. Oh. Um, huh. That is so weird. Wait, somebody else voted. I know Carla was one of them. I'm pretty sure she... Car- to... Carla voted for only, yeah. Yeah. And only voted for James. Dang. I think there should be maybe one more that was wrong, but I don't know who it was. One more wrong vote? I think so. Okay, hold up. Because James had two votes, I'm pretty sure. Oh, shit. Sam voted for Ellie. Okay. I figured as much. Dwight voted for Ellie. Gabler voted for Ellie. Cody voted for Ellie. James voted for Ellie. Cassidy voted for Ellie. She voted for Cassidy. She voted for Owen. James. James. Who are the two James votes? Uh, damn it, Carla and uh Owen. Okay. Yeah. Well, that might wait, have changed wait, my rankings wait. a little bit. Carla didn't vote for James, right? No, Carla voted for Owen. <laughs> Uh, we need a sober Aspen to be looking at these. Too high. Too high. <laughs> Lord. But anyway, Carla's voting this round made me question her what she was really doing, and we don't really know by the edit, but maybe we'll find out in the next episode if she's really the winner. True. We'll see. That leaves James at number one. Uh, he was a target in this vote however i don't know if that bodes well for him going forward will he stay at target will he not but he only had two votes against him and he was on the right side of the vote so i don't know and one of the people that voted for him already went home so i mean i probably wouldn't have voted him i probably wouldn't have ranked him number one because i feel like now he do got the potential to be an easy uh like all right let's just do james again you know like but I feel like honestly, James out here killing this shit. He the I ain't gonna lie, James is about the best black dude I done seen play this, especially a black dude that is not as um book smart as somebody like Wendell. James, you can just tell James from the hood, he a little ghetto, but he out here making his way and doing his thing, and that's why I respect what he's doing because it, it's genuine. He ain't he ain't being fake. He just being himself, and I don't even know if this motherfucker ever watched Survivor, but he killing this shit. I think he's killing it too. I agree. I think you know Mike keeps making that reference to the first episode about chess, and I think that would be very Survivor of Survivor to make James the winner based off his first confessional on the first episode. They do that a lot, so could be. I know the thoughts on James or Carla. You know, when does this duo get targeted as looking like a duo? Because they kind of look like a duo. I don't know if they looking as much like a duo as Ellie and uh, Janine was, though. Because, yeah, like, you don't see them being all up on each other. They're not, like, 
And ain't nobody saying, hey, James and Carla a duo. Like, ain't nobody coming off saying that shit, so. And they didn't vote together, so maybe that helps. Right. Carla just pulling a DD and voting any kind of goddamn way based off her emotions or whatever. <laughs> Any final thoughts on the episode overall? Mm, I'm interested to see where it go, but I don't know. Survivor gonna have to do something next season to like keep the keep the ratings up. What are they gonna do? It um, it puzzles me. I think they're gonna do more of the same of this season because they like to <laughs> record two back to back. Yeah, it's a sinking ship for sure. <clears throat> I don't know if they're going to make it to 50. I think they'll make it to 50, but yeah, I mean, I still find it boring. I still don't really know why would they have to earn the merge and they have to do this thing here instead of having a tribe swap. I think a tribe swap was superior. If it's not broken, don't fix it. Uh, I feel like you earned the merge by making it to the merge and not getting voted out for the merge. I mean, it's stupid. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Go back to the go back to the team swap. Go back to the regular merge. And plus, like, I don't know. Like, if I was out there and I made it all the way to the merge and I don't get no fucking merge fees, bitch, because I lost that challenge, I'd be pissed. I'm sorry, but like y'all got me out here starving and shit. Fuck that. Yeah, I don't get it. I, I feel like they, they do that because it's shortened amount of days and they want to keep a survivor element, but like but then they go so far into this like game bot mode where they have all of these powers that don't even make a lot of sense and are kind of a waste of time because everybody knows about it. I don't think they they can't figure out what they want to do. Standard survivor. But it was the best episode of the season at least. I'll say that to be positive for a second. True, 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 true. Nah, they did their thing. They surprised me. I almost thought James was going home. I got a little worked up myself. I'm like, y'all better not book James off. And then they didn't, so they got me. All right. Well, until next time.